Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Orcs Must Die 3. So, I know I beat this, but uh, we've still got some weekly challenges that are going to pop up here and there. And I haven't tackled the Endless yet, which admittedly might be something that I kind of hold off on for the, uh, for the inevitable Steam release and, you know, playing multiplayer with somebody else. But like, I'm going to be honest, I love this game and I want to play more of it, at least until my schedule gets so busy that I can't sustain this game anymore. Uh, j just because. So, uh, let's see. I've got a... I, I guess let's start with the weekly challenge. So, ends August 24th. Start with no rune coin for placing traps. The only coin you earn is from the enemies you kill. Oh. And the guaranteed coin drops off large enemies. Strategically use your staff's secondary stun upgrade and place traps so they can be effective against both lanes. Color of money. Okay. Uh, this might be rough so i i don't start any with anything so yes, I, oh i am prepared oh boy well this Enemies is going to be to breach one of our gates. bad they broken through a gate i might not here they come Enemies are breaking through elsewhere. I am having the hardest time headshotting anything here. Okay, this ain't gonna work. Let's uh let's just shelve this weekly challenge. I I don't know. I think I think weekly challenges might be something that I specifically want to tackle multiplayer. Let's do endless mode, because like endless mode is what I'm actually here for. And I want to mess around with some of the traps, so. What do we do on this one? First and foremost, let's refund upgrades on this. We want to get barricades block two spaces. That I originally poo-pooed that idea. I thought it was dumb and I had no interest, but now I have a lot of interest. Next order of business. Let's Okay, we already refunded the magic longbow. I want to try some of the other weapons. Let's let's go blunderbuss for a while. Cuz I haven't used that yet. What else do we have? Because at this point, I'm going to only be gaining skulls, so I can invest in everything kind of freely. Uh, let's see, I know a lot of people were like, use the floor, uh, the wall grinders, and I did, and I love floor, uh, I love the grinders, they're great. Let's do, let's refund. The extra fire damage on tar is kind of useful, but I didn't actually, I don't have the brimstone upgrade that makes the, the fire last. Ah. Uh. Oh no, it is a fire damage over time. The main thing is, this does arcane damage, so it's not as helpful. Uh, and this way I can potentially have Tar Trap, Ripsaw Trap, and kind of alternate them, or something. I used to alternate uh, Tar Traps and Spike Wall Traps, or the old uh, Pop-Up Burner Traps, but those aren't as... well, they're, they aren't in the game. So what else do I want to invest in? Like, the Swinging Mace is kind of tempting. Oh! Ceiling Crusher. Ceiling Pounder. There we go. I wanted to play with those. Let's see. What else do we have? There is the Confusion Flower. I didn't really get the chance to toy with it too much. So, let's try it. Endless mode is going to be a bit messy. And I just... I want to see what, what toys I, I can use. Okay. Oh, right. We're playing as, uh, we're playing as Cygnus. I forgot. Well, you know what? That's fine by me. So let's grab Cygnus with the shotgun. This makes sense. Uh, let's see. So we want to do the Confusion Flower. Let's do it instead of the Ripsaw Trap. We've still got the Brimstone. I like that. I like the Slapper. I like the Ceiling Pounder. Uh, was there anything else that I um, just upgraded that I wanted to mess with? I guess the only thing would be, do I want Ripsaw or the old Brimstone Oil Slick? I like the Brimstone Oil Slick, I think, too much to mess with. I'll have to alternate them to make it work. But, like, rip Ripsaws are cool, especially if you have a lot of enemies stacked up in an area for a very long time. Uh, ish? And they're kind of they're kind of like wall traps for, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we could get rid of the slap trap. 
Let's get rid of the slap trap for some rip saws, so I can just put them places. Okay. Perfection. Option set. How do I want to do this? I guess easiest option. I'm gonna just do. I'm just gonna seed some basic things. An excellent location. To do horrible, horrible stuff to people as they go by. Here's where they will fall. And I guess that'll just have to do for now. I'll Once get more, more than this, breach. but this will be fine. Alright, I'm feeling good about Enemies this. We should try some of the other playable characters. I... Broken through a gate. Gosh, those are effective. Here they come. Like, it might still be worth investing in... Uh, well, it might honestly just be worth putting a bunch of those uh, brimstone traps on the ground so that just anything that walks in here just has to get past them. Okay. I am so used to playing Risk of Rain now, I've forgotten how to actually play this game conventionally. Yeah, let's let's just do this. It's time this works to begin. shockingly well. So yeah, we'll just see with some basic damage the traps and then bring... Then once Enemies kind of we've got just a bunch of brimstone front. traps and air walls in this area on both sides, Watch then we'll start unifying a main defense around the big... Again. Oh, you know what? Let's go to options. I'm going to turn off voice volume. Gosh, that's going to be such a lovely change of pace. I don't hate game voices, and you know what? Vegeta did a great job voice acting this game. Flip side. Man, this shotgun is just nuts. It's real good. Okay. Yeah, Vegeta did, did a great job with this. Don't get me wrong. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? I'm going to just put that down for the time being. The These initial seated traps should do a decent job at keeping most things off. And I'll slowly work on, you know, Killbox Ultra at this point. Because, yeah, this is this is enough to keep the basic trash mobs off. We'll probably maybe have a second set of brimstones, you know, around a curve. But the more we can kind of just demolish early, the better. Because, yeah, we have, like... One somewhat damaged orc coming to say hi. It's like, yeah, that works. I think I can just do that. I'm just, you know, we got we got traps of plenty. I'm I'm just gonna make it hard to get get to them. I could use them later. Like, back here at the kill box, if I wanted to. And it's kind of tempting to do so, especially once we start running into the bigger stuff. But I figure having just a couple of basic traps that everybody will pass over, kind of at regular intervals, specifically the, the burner traps, means most enemies will not get to me, leaving me with only the big guys. And even then, they'll be slightly damaged. And that that's worth it. I don't really know if that was good design, actually. I might get rid of that. We'll see. I mean, I guess, alternatively, I'm just going to be switching between them freely, so it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, I can, I can just hang out here with a shotgun, ready and waiting for anybody that comes to say hi. That single burnt brimstone trap is just doing insane damage. So good. All right, let's uh, let's just sell that for the time being. I'll I'll think about what I have outside. For now, I want to I want that tar trap there. 
Yeah, we'll probably do Brimstone Tar, Brimstone Tar, Brimstone Tar. Just because this way, if we have a Brimstone Trap there, that'll keep them off. I don't know. And then we get a couple of Crusher Traps. It look like I got much for... Crushers that I can use in this main area. I could do a lot of Crushers there. Ooh. Okay, my decision to get the kill box rolling. Early? Early? Uh, now. Good plan. They're starting to get through. I guess we're starting to get the bigger orcs. Well, let's get a crusher. Boop. Okay, there we go. So, a little bit of damage, a little bit of a concern. We don't have slap traps, but I got a lot of ceiling crushers. Let's utilize them. That way, any biggins have to get past those. And yeah, we're just we're just gonna make the mash box and see how it works. If we're lucky, it works really dang well. And then yeah, at some point I'll see more traps up there. But I I gotta make the lower kill kill box more effective. We're we're starting to run into the bigger guys, and splitting my defenses is actually gonna get bad. You know it's weird. I don't know which I like more. No, I like the shotgun. Shotgun's dang dang good. Uh let's see. I don't have enough money to buy anything. I'll just keep waiting on this. I guess we could get a brimstone there. Just a little bit of bonus damage. This is I don't know, there's just something good about this. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just ask this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to follow through it anytime soon. But what would you guys want? Should I should I roll into another tower defense game after this? Uh because I was thinking Sanctum, because I've I've never played Sanctum, but I could also go back to Orcs Must Die 2. Uh, it might take a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's available on multiple platforms. Uh and so that might be something that I get my brother to play with me or something. Alright, there we go. We have just enough for another one of these. We are not getting as much money as I was hoping. No, it's okay. Ooh, I just realized this whole barrier thing is going to be a bit of a detractor. We'll have them do, like, weird loops, probably. It's fine. As long as I have them do kind of two runs up and down this, man uh, this direction, it, it doesn't really matter too much. I just want to get as many crushinators as I as I can. Give them the, give them the old slap. Okay, so they hurt. Ow! Oh no 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 no! Damn it! Stupid ogres. Yeah, I'm not used to fighting with these yet, and I don't have a whole lot of traps to defend me. Whoops. That's a problem. Whatever. I'll just make do. Uh, let's see. What do we get? I'll just get that right there. Probably should save up for another end loop. Ah, uh, bleh. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out over here, where the or ogres are less likely to be able to just sprint past my traps. Okay, come on. Okay. So far, so good. Mr. Moneybags? Oh.
I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I miss my I miss the slap traps. And I kinda miss the bow. Like, I like the idea of this thing. But it's not quite as good. Maybe I'll have to try the crossbow. Because it feels like I'm just plinking these guys. I don't have the headshot ability that I used to have. And... You know, maybe for somebody that's not great at headshotting, it's not so bad. But, like, I got pretty good at, at it by the end. Alright, there we go. We got this stun wall. Got this extra stuff. I don't have the means of healing, do I? You know what? I'm gonna go preemptively die. Kill me. Thank you. I also have to make sure that they, they don't hit my uh, barricades too much here. Alright. Well, this is working better. Yeah, we might want to actually get some rip saws instead. Already? Uh, okay. I'm gonna retry. We just we're getting inundated with things. Uh actually let's let's quit out. I liked the Bunderbuss. And maybe for multiplayer I'll I'll give it a go, but it was not doing what I wanted it to. So we got a couple of things. Charged Arcane Attack. Mm. Yeah, because I don't like the Blade Staff. I heard Stone Staff is real good. I'm a little worried about its regular attack costing mana, though. Well, do we try the crossbow? Yeah, we'll try the crossbow. That'll be good enough. Okay. Do we want to try something instead of Great Room? No, 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 no. We're doing great with, great with Great Room. I like it. And we... Okay. We want to try Crossbow. I think... I think what I'm going to do... Wait. I was a little premature. I think I'm gonna just do this. Ooh. Okay. I see how this works. Okay. This might be a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's still going to take some doing. But I get how it works. Okay. We got to go down. Well, not here. That's not useful. Why did I do it again? Let's see. And the, in, in the interest of time... Specifically, not wasting anybody's. Let's, um... Let's just get some brim brimstone... Ah, brimstone traps down. They're absolutely the stars of the show right now. Let's see. Other thing that might be worth it if I came back here would actually maybe be flipper traps. But even then, I don't know. Alright, uh, let's see. That's decent. We'll put that one there.
Let's just... Because I don't quite want to put it here. Some of these might work, but let's, let's put it there. All right, there we go. That should be all the defense I want to put down, at least on both of these sides, and then we'll we'll go from this spot. I know I don't have to do this perfectly, and I probably shouldn't have restarted. I should have just made do with what I had. Oh, I was going to get rid of the confusion flower. I just was not liking the shotgun, and it was only going to get worse. I guess what we might want to do, more than anything else, is get rid of a lot of these side arrow traps, and then consolidate my defenses. You know, just let the brimstones take out the trash mobs. Uh, we'll consider that after the next round. Just because things are going to get hairier, and the more defenses I have concentrated here, the better. Though I think really the biggest issue is I just couldn't deal with the ogres. The shotgun required me to be kind of closer than I wanted it to be. Okay, let's start with an arrow trap there. No matter what, they're going to be going by. Man, I missed, like, every shot there. That's what I get for trying to lead. That's what I get for trying to play at, like, uh, butts o'clock in the morning. It is early. I, I normally don't really get, get my day started until, like... You know, noon, give or take. I'm not. I'm not much of an early bird. Woke up at 6 a.m. today. Actually, feeling. Eh, it's kind of that like sleepy, energetic that I know I'm gonna be tired by the end of the day. Like absolutely, just. I want to go to bed now, please. Yeah, I think we'll do the ripsaw traps instead of a lot of the tar traps. Maybe. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's, let's consolidate a bit. I'll keep that one. Because that, that one's useful. But a number of these are a little bit more situational. And that gets me some more money to get decent defenses here instead. Uh, let's see. Well? No, 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 no. These are cheap, have a decent stun. That down. Put this down. Okay, there we go. Much more aggressive early on. We're going to start getting some ogres and some other things. Ideally, what I'd like to do is just have mad kill maze here with a bunch of archers just hanging out of the back that I just continuously increase the numbers of. A bit hard to get the, get him in the head, but it's fine. And then probably just Brimstone Alley outside. Okay. Bad placement. Is what it is. Okay, got him. Uh, let's see. Let's let's do this. Just a little bit of a slow trap will go a long way there. The the auto acquisition on those ogres is spooky. They will they will just come for you. It's, nothing will stop them. Did they used to work that way? They probably did. I'd go back and check my old footage, but I don't really want to. I'd rather, I honestly would rather actually play Orcs Must Die 2 again. Like, one thing that's always kind of been on my mind, gameplay-wise, is how well do games stack up, you know, year after year? Does Fable 1 still hold up? The answer is, yeah, probably. Uh, game that I'm really excited for. It, like, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, let's see. 
brain. I'm really looking forward to Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles later this month. I guess in a week? Like, I'm, I'm super excited for that. Because that was one of my favorite games growing up. And so the question is, does it hold up? I I don't know. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to having that potentially answered. Because I never really got to, to play that with friends. I had, like, two friends in middle school that were really big into it as well. Like, they absolutely loved the game. But they weren't really friends. They were, like, kind of acquaintances that I would hang out with in a couple of classes, and that was it. And maybe it's because I'm an insufferable person, secretly, and I just didn't know. I'm gonna rotate these. There we go. Oh, there are so saw blades at either end, so that actually... Okay, that's maybe not as good as I'd like it to be. Okay, so if I do this, and then this, they have to take a long way around. I don't know. I'm just going to do that for the time being. I could, I could potentially have the maze around. Anyway, yeah, they were, they were just... It was one of those where it was rare for me to ever get invited over to anybody's house. I think a lot of it is just like I was never anybody's neighbor. And the people I was neighbors with were old. We always lived in older neighborhoods. And so I was rarely around other kids. I had like one kid down the street from me. But we stopped being friends midway through 7th grade. And then I moved, which kind of just solves all problems. Well... Solves? I don't know. Ow, what? Okay. Luckily, because I'm not using this too much, I'm okay, I'm getting this. I'm getting this whole stun dealio down. This is taking some doing. So. I guess I'll do that. I don't want to. What I should almost do is actually have the, the final leg of the kill box first. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, so I always wanted to play... Uh, You know what? I always wanted to play Crystal Chronicles with somebody else. And so now, I got Shell, who I think is going to be super into it. This is working. Bye. That was kind of fun. All right. Perfect. So now they're going to have to come considerably further to get at me. Gives me another good spot for the rip saws. Like a really good spot. And I can use this stun nigh constantly. Like, I don't think I've really talked about this too much, but this this stun was broken in the first game, or maybe broken in the first game. I actually haven't played enough of the first game to really say. Actually, have I never played Orcs Must Die 1? Shit, I don't think I have. Let's do... Just do more fire. 
We don't necessarily need to keep them slow with all the uh, the ceiling pounders. So just more damaging traps is good. I maybe we maybe on the next endless we just go madcap spike trap and just figure out if they're any good. But yeah, I could just keep these guys crazy stunned for far too long. Welcome to the stun house. You'll never leave. My damage is bad, but once I get the uh, the deck of archers in the back, you need to not be there. Hmm. Maybe auto blisters would actually be good plans. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. We're just going to have this big area back here that I can't quite make use of. And so it's just going to be this, like, kind of odd mess. Holy shit, you are way too fast. And I don't have nearly enough to, like, punish them back there. Shit. Ugh, I'm just owning this one. Not much I could do about it. Yeah, I just don't have a whole lot of damage. The ceiling pounder is don't hurt ogres that much, and the arrow traps don't have the range to hit him in the middle. I was hoping these would do more damage, but I think I'd be better off with brimstones. I'm gonna just do that. Also, the big barricades, I think, are screwing me over a little bit. a little. Okay. Just pepper him for a bit. But yeah, I think... I think we might want to rethink some of our trap choices. So... Success or lose, I'm not restarting on this run. It's too late in the episode anyway. And I'm not really trying to go for perfect scores. <sighs> not enough. Let's get a ton of brimstones. Let's just set them on fire. Go from here. Because, the, like, the brimstones seem, seem to be unilaterally extremely successful... at torching everything. Well, my whole I'm going to have to start over thing. I... Well, this worked great until it didn't. I'm going to let this happen at this point. This is... This is a done run, and there's nothing I can do about it. Watch, watch me go. Dang. Yeah, so I think our biggest issue is we didn't have enough to stop the ogres. Slap traps would have been the easy solution. The crusher traps were good, but they didn't do a whole lot of oomph. I think the dart spitters would have been better. So let's, let's take that into account. Auto Ballistas might be a good idea, but they're too expensive. And I didn't get the chance to use the Confusion Flower ever. Let's see. 
And even the arrow wall was kind of meh on that one. We might be better off with grinders. Uh, let's see. Okay. Other... Yeah, I... I think I'm just going to throw many of these in the bin and we'll just try other things for next time. For now though, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. It's weird doing outros for this game, but I just don't have time otherwise. <laughs>